Family conspired to take over my company and pushed me out, now they're begging for help after ruining it. All my family had been in the business industry with degrees in business all their lives. Even with that, they never really did their own thing though, just worked in the industry. So when I created my own startup and started doing my own thing, I offered my family, mainly my uncle, brother and dad a stake in the business of they managed to get me some investors and surprisingly they got me some great ones and not only that, they started helping me in the business too, giving me a few ideas and stuff like that. Well, so, with a lot of time and energy put into this startup, I start my first ever business which blows up within the second year of its launch. That is when my family became very involved, started spending too much time with me while I was working and you know what? I thought that was an amazing thing because I loved my family and never thought they would do me this way. I just thought they wanted to learn and grow. It only took them about a year to learn enough that they quit their jobs and started working in the company. I was happy to receive helping hands that were trustworthy but little did I know, they were soon going to be the one who would break my trust. So, throughout all of this, all seems well, too well actually. It's like, the arguments that used to take place between my brother and I now stopped having the arguments we used to have. Our broken relationship suddenly healed and I took all of these things as a positive thing, something to be happy about and something that I felt proud about because I thought it was my business that brought all these positive things into my life. Hell, that is where I was wrong, like 100% wrong. Now that I think about it, it makes me feel like I was worried about and felt assured about all the wrong things. Like how much I trusted my family when they told me to worry about my friends using me, about my girlfriend using me and my employees using me. It was like, they had brainwashed me that anything that wasn't family was something just trying to use me and take advantage of me when at that point I hadn't even become that rich. Yes, sure, I had a good amount of money but it wasn't even close to something that everyone around me would use me for, especially considering the fact that they earned almost as much as me. Well, I realized my mistakes as the red flag started looking red for me. It was during the pandemic period and my family had started to show their true colors. It was during the online meetings that they started to try and overthrow my suggestions, the ideas that I had previously implemented in the company and the ideas I was suggesting to be implemented in the company. Apparently, the ideas that literally brought the company where it was had now become not enough. Around this time, the relationship between my brother and I started deteriorating too. So, it was like, the workplace I loved so much, the place which brought me comfort became the place that started giving me anxiety and panic attacks because of the work environment and I literally could not do anything because these people almost had the same amount of stakes in the business as I did and that is what they used against me, in one of the worst ways possible. So, during a meeting, the discussion was about cutting back staff as it was the lockdown and there were just members of the office who just weren't needed. Well, the decision was made on the vote of majority and yes, like you all guessed, my name was brought up in the meeting. Apparently, according to my uncle, who I had taught the majority of the things about the business says how it's my brother who handles most of the things these days so it would be only fair to have him replace my position. I was left speechless at that suggestion alone when my dad piped up and said I should either resign or have myself demoted. Ouch. That hurt and I couldn't get a word out of my mouth as I saw these people who I thought loved me very conveniently voted me out. That day everything just clicked and although late, I just knew what happened to me. So, I resigned on my own. I know, a lot of you might have done otherwise but for me, I just wasn't or will never be the type to be able to thrive in such a hostile place. I just knew I wanted to be free. So, I left and began working on my new project. This project took me a couple of years, a lot of money and a lot of contacts to get done. Hell, I had to even move houses because I didn't have enough money to sustain myself. Well, thankfully, the hard work paid off and by the time we got out of lockdown, my business was up and running. Of course, this business also took a year to actually start giving me profits but by the looks of it, it was already doing better than my previous business. I was happy once again, feeling like I was around my own people, my chosen family. Well, needless to say, the moment I stepped out of my previous business, I stopped all and any contact with my family. It was like they were dead to me. Plain and simple. From my mom to my brother and from my uncle to my aunt. All those people who didn't say a word as I was miserable, who didn't bother calling me up a single time were all dead to me and that included my business too. So, I had no idea what was its condition. However, it was the other day that things changed. As I was going through the resumes that the HR shortlisted for people who were selected for the second round of the interview, I was shocked to find my brother's resume in it. He was selected for the second round of interview for a job which was of a pretty high level. This was not only shocking but surprising because no way in the world this man would need to be working a second job after he literally technically owns a company. I just knew I needed to interview him and get to know the whole situation. So, 
The day of the interview comes and my brother walks into my office. He looks stressed and like he had aged 2x within the span of a couple of years. As soon as he walked in and saw me, he was shocked to see me but tried his best to keep his composure. I took his interview as normally as I could and towards the end, I just knew I couldn't have it in me to hire him. Everything that he did to me, all just replayed back in my head and I just repeated the same thing to him that he had told me while they were voting me out, that I believed his contributions here wouldn't be the best fit and how maybe he should look into applying for a lower level job. I guess he remembered that dialogue and immediately got angry, telling me how unprofessional this was of me. How I'm letting my personal bias get the best of me, blah blah blah. I simply told him that he can just leave if he doesn't like it and he did. I honestly hadn't even thought of the situation until my phone started blowing up with texts and messages from my family berating me for what I did to my brother who has more potential than I ever will. They're all now begging me to help my brother with this job and help them fix the company or some bullcrap and honestly, that would have been easy to ignore but the fact that my wife says that maybe I should consider things since my brother has children and a wife to look after makes me think otherwise but the thing is that, my brother genuinely doesn't have the abilities to make a good fit in the company. Yes, I know. I'm letting my bias come through here as well but is it that bad after all that my brother did? Am I the a-hole? Update 1, I was contacted by a childhood mutual friend of my brother and I who told me everything that happened to the company ever since I left. He also worked in the company after I left but quit shortly after due to personal reasons and as a result, he knows about the stuff going on in the company. Well, he told me that ever since I left, my brother, uncle and dad just started lazing around. They thought that the company would function on its own and there would be no reason to look after things or redo anything. I guess, that is the part of me that they didn't like either, the fact that I was literally doing my job. I legit wonder sometimes how these people even got their degrees. In business, well, so, they continue to slack and eventually it gets to them because looking at the fact that the literal owners don't care about the company, the employees stopped caring either. Needless to say, the company started going into losses. Adding on to that, all the money that the company made went into buying expensive cars and crap that was unnecessary which apparently, they still refused to sell. By the way my friend talks about it though, it's not the business itself at a loss but the company. No matter what business it is, with bosses like these people, the company will most likely go to a loss, you know? So, buying the company is definitely something on my mind but obviously, without the idiots included. As for the messages I have been receiving from them, I have blocked them all from contacting me until I make up my mind. Update 2, hi all. I haven't been able to reply to messages slash comments since I've been busy going through everything but here's a very small update. I have set a date for a meeting with my family, meaning my brother, uncle and dad and I will be proposing taking over the company with them. Now, I will make sure to make it 100% clear to tell them that they will have no part in the company. Now, let's see how it goes. Update 3, hi all. It's been a couple of months since I last posted. Not sure if anyone remembers but I had posted here regarding an issue I was facing with my family. Well, I finally met them and they were quite immediately ready to give up the business on seeing the money which honestly wasn't even a lot. That just gave me the assurance that these people can legit do anything for money. This business would have been worth so much more, only if they maintained it a little. Regardless, I'm happy to have gotten back my company and I am now co-owning it with the same friend who told me about this situation. I think this is a positive update overall. Even though buying out the business was quite the process, full of passive aggressive remarks from my family, I'm happy to have it back as I watch my family make not so smart decisions and spend all their money on bullcrap they obviously do not need. But hey, who am I to judge? If these people can kick me out of the company under the pretext that I'm not contributing enough, only God can help them now. For context, I, 16 female, have a best friend, Sarah, 16 female. We have known each other for 14 years now and pretty much grew up together. We always went to the same school and went into the same exact classes. Sarah was always popular, she was always every boy's crush, every boy would tell her how beautiful her body was, we both thought that that was really messed up, anyways they were right though, she had the perfect amount of curves but is still overall skinny. I on the other hand was never really popular in fact I got bullied so much that I had to change schools last year. I was bullied for being the fat friend. Sarah knew that, but still went on to say stuff like I am so fat nobody wants me next to me, she even said that she was anorexic and flexed with it. Back then I believed her. I really thought that she had anorexia since she made it to her personality. So after I changed schools I lost around 35 kilograms. 
For comparison I used to be 5 feet 8 inch around 176 centimeters and 198 pounds slash 90 kilograms and now I'm around 121 pounds around 55 kilograms Sarah on the other hand is also 5 feet 8 inch around 176 centimeters and 143 pounds around 65 kilograms. I am not proud about the way that I lost the weight but it is what it is. It took me a few months to lose that much weight in that few months I didn't see Sarah. We only texted or FaceTimed. So the day comes and it's her birthday. She invited me the day before the big party to celebrate with her close family only. Her mother opened the door for me and her jaw dropped. She had never seen me that skinny or skinnier than her own daughter ever as I was always way heavier than Sarah. She started to give me compliments and couldn't stop talking about how good I looked now that you're skinny her dad also joined the conversation and Sarah didn't like that. I got to admit that I also felt uncomfortable with this situation and tried to change the conversation many times. Sarah was pissed the whole day, and after I went home I received a text message from her saying that I was selfish and an ass for stealing her big day and how I don't feel bad about her having anorexia. I don't think that that's true. I didn't mention my weight loss and even tried to change the conversation. I think she's just jealous that I am the one that's getting compliments and all the attention now. I am estranged from my sister. She and I used to have the same friend circle growing up and she was good friends with my then best friend. But when I was 16 my then best friend was with a guy who ended up with a crush on me. I had no idea. Suddenly she turned into a bully and she bullied me horrifically, to the point I was moved after only two months into a school year because she had leaked personal stuff about me to the whole school, including, but not limited to, the fact I had an ED, eating disorder, and had been diagnosed with social anxiety disorder which made me my pants on the first day of high school and on our school's PT conference day, sometimes this happened when my anxiety led to an anxiety attack. This was stuff she knew because she was meant to be my best friend and she blasted it everywhere. My sister stayed friends with this girl despite all that. Not only that, but when I told her it upset me she told me I was being a controlling brat for thinking I could ask her to dump a friend. That was when I decided I had lost two people. My parents tried to keep my sister away from my former best friend but she insisted she should be allowed to have whatever friends she wanted. That friendship lasted several more years before they stopped being friends but by then it was too much. She even brought this girl to stuff she knew I would be at under the guise of being allowed to bring friends. It was traumatic for me and over that time I grew to hate my sister for subjecting me to that. She attempted to apologize a couple of years ago but I didn't want to hear it. Now I'm engaged and my parents were warned ahead of time that my sister wasn't getting an invite. My brothers told me our parents seemed to mention my sister in speeches they were preparing and they wanted to give me a heads up since they didn't seem to want to listen to them. When I brought it up to my parents they said they couldn't pretend she didn't exist since most people know I have a sister. I told her that most people also know that we no longer talk. I told them I did not want them to mention her at my wedding. They told me I was being unfair, especially when she attempted to apologize but I stopped her. We're now not on the best of terms. They think I'm unfair. Am I the a-hole?